that. Recording audio. Okay, through through the external speaker. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. This is the the gate to the uh, public act. It's not public access. This is the, the gate to restricted access. It's public property because it belongs to the cactus station of the Phoenix Police Department. And uh, I'm sitting right now on uh, city of Phoenix property that is not restricted, so it's public property, publicly accessible property. And we have people come and go. Uh, this is public view media, so I'm taking media of interest to the public. Sometimes officers want to stop and uh, make their presence known, which is a noble activity. This one's stopping in the driveway. We have his unit number there. Is nine one five seven eight. Call him out. They're uh, they're taking probably try to take pictures. Uh, and uh, this is what they see. As you can see, I'm gonna back this up a little bit so you can see I'm in my VA issued uh, sit walker. It's considered an ADA transport device, which I'm allowed to sit on because my back, I have back pain and this is uh, considered a proper use of ADA equipment. <clears throat> but it makes it uh, happens to make it possible for me to be out in public because if I were standing I already would have been in so much pain I would have gone to the floor it goes another vehicle we'll capture the vehicle now some some vehicles I've noticed since I've been here there's another exit and some vehicles have actually uh, uh, come to this gate and then saw me and then went to a different gate which is fine, but the fact that they even have a separate gate is one of the reasons why it makes sense that, uh, you know, it's not like they can't exit some other way. I'm just covering this gate, I'm all alone here, so I don't have that, um, I don't have a partner with me, which they did, but one of these days we'll go out and see. I think it's always better to have a backup camera working. So that's why we do this. When we do this, car is leaving, and here is a a gentleman who is pulling in. Looks like he may be along, like he might work here. Um, he doesn't have a uniform shirt on, but maybe they have a locker room that they change in. I think that would be convenient to have. The police uniforms at the station. Maybe the city uh, dry, dry cleans them and presses them for them. Uh, that would be a nice benefit. I know it doesn't happen at my work, but it would be nice if it did. Um, he's making sure that uh, the gate closes so he doesn't leave me behind to go right in. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there. I bet he goes as soon as that gate's closed. Yep, there we go. There he goes. What a, what a conscientious employee. That's very good. You know, security is an important thing at a police substation. You would think uh, you want to, uh, if you have, if your city has taken the trouble to um, distinguish uh, You know, you should, as an employee, uh, honor that that was their desire, I would think. I will point out something about these signs that are uh, irregular, however. It says no trespassing 
and, and it gives an IRS, uh, ARS, uh, Arizona Revised Statute section. I'd like to look that up. Uh, but it's a sign for private property. Now, it is public property. It doesn't stop being public property. It becomes public property that is restricted access from the public. So it's restricted access, not publicly accessible. But it doesn't become private property. It just becomes um, an area that's like only authorized personnel can come. And that would be a better and more appropriate sign. I'll <coughs> make a note of that and see if I can uh, text a message or make a phone call and address that. So far, um, I've gotten very good uh, responses from the personnel that have come and gone from this restricted area. I'm encouraged to see that. I think uh, uh, the Department of Justice is doing an inquiry with the Phoenix Police Department right now regarding um, people photographing in public as a constitutionally protected activity. <clears throat> I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody stopped to attempt to interview me, but um, we'll see if that happens or not. The fact that they uh, are not showing alarm for coming and going is a very good thing because that's how it should be. Um, in our society, we should just take no notice to somebody with a camera, videotaping or photographing, because it is every citizen's right to do that, and they should be able to do that unmolested. There's no, there's no such thing as as suspicion being a crime. A lot of times, an officer may have a conversation about if they're investigating suspicious activity. Well, that's fine and good, but. Uh, that doesn't mean uh, the person who's the subject of that activity um, has any obligation to engage them or to answer questions or to ID. Uh, and yes, as a matter of course, I generally do not bring ID just in case my uh, First Amendment rights were, or, or Fourth Amendment, uh, were to be. Uh, violated I, I want to make sure that I don't give them any more Hobby Jeep truck. There we go. Gladiator. It seems to be popular among a lot of people. But, uh, it's certainly come a long way. That's a big, that's a big Jeep from the Jeep Thompson area. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to let one. to finish texting whatever they were texting, whatever they do. It's like that any of us. We sometimes pause to finish what we're doing. 
even if it's uh, technically prohibited by vehicle code to text while you're driving, I guess if you stop in the driveway or someplace and you're stopped, <clears throat> it's questionable whether or not you're actually driving or not, you know. So, we have... Anyway, this is fun to see that uh, people are just going on about their business just like it should be. You know, there's no reason to uh, be alarmed by someone with photography equipment. You know, I realize it, what happens is people get, they, they make assumptions, really not a good assumptions to make, you know, like they're, they're just assuming things, and sometimes people just assume it's the person taking pictures, and that's really all that's valid to assume, it's just the person's taking pictures, because if you have a camera set up, I'm on a tripod, so it's pretty obvious that I'm taking pictures. Not like it's a, a hidden camera, not by not by the least, um, but <clears throat> it's uh, interesting to I stopped talking in the middle of my sentence and I apologize. Um, I was distracted by uh, remembering I have a second camera that's like a body camera, like a GoPro, and uh, I did not, uh, <laughs> I did not uh, put it on. It's with me, but it takes a little bit of doings to get it on me because I'm a, a rather let's see robust rotund person. and so usually it's better if I try to put this harness thing on uh, not in public because it's not a pretty sight but <laughs> so I think I'm gonna forego that second camera today yeah, I, I've um, eaten healthy. Actually, the the truth is I'm a diabetic, and uh, <clears throat> when you on on insulin, as long as I've been on insulin, uh, insulin will add. It'll make your uh, it'll turn your sugar into fat source. and so you're constantly battling your weight and most of the weight I can use and don't get that sense of So here's another officer who seems to be leaving for a shift. And as you can see they're pausing for one reason or another, I'm not sure exactly why, but you never know what's going to happen. I'll get his uh, name and number at some point. Oh, here's his vehicle number. See, it's uh, 8181236. So, he seems to be doing okay. He's just doing uh, his laptop stuff. He lowered his laptop. I wonder if he's going to get out of the vehicle. Actually, I don't see him in the vehicle, so he might already be out. Oh, good idea. He's, he's closing the gate. And so maybe, maybe he's going to get out. He just put it in the park. And get to have a little conversation with this gentleman. I don't know. He's possible to know. And then he's up just a little bit higher. Alright, 
seems to be parked. He's gonna investigate what's going on. called it in and they said you know they probably are telling them uh yeah pay no attention to the man behind the curtain the man behind the camera so that was good as you can see he uh he didn't seem about to know they may have said okay uh, uh somebody else will take it you go in your call and we'll find somebody else or there may be no sign at all see i don't want to Without any issues, it should be that way. You know? Now look how tinted these guys. Of course, they're police officers, so they don't, don't usually give each other tickets for things like tinted windows. And uh, you know, if you have tinted windows, you get pulled over. You show your badge. They go, "Oh, okay, Joe. All right, didn't uh, didn't know. I didn't recognize you, or something like that." I'm gonna pull out the port with like which is a it's a plate that's very difficult to recognize because of the design on it. That's probably not by accident. But uh that's okay. I'll bring this down a bit because I extended my legs on here so it would rest or sit higher it is curious that they are pausing for a period of time i wonder if they're calling in and calling. Hey, there's nothing to see here move along you know like the south park police officer that's how it should be <laughs> move along people nothing to see here <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what that's kind of what I am I have nothing to see but a spectacle in itself of itself oh look I'm hearing fireworks or some kind of discharges coming from within the uh, parking lot of this police substation I can't do that I, if, I don't know if the audio picked that up but it was a series of uh, what could have been like firecrackers or gunshots, depending on how it is. And there's a nice, nice, fine gentleman who's that looks like he has a really nice haircut. Very nice man to see people take pride in their appearance and grooming. Uh, it's, I think, a professional standard to do that, so that's always a good thing. You know? Yeah, he's sort of through the gate, he's going to pause, he's going to wait. Again, this is probably a good security guy. He's going to wait until the gate closes to make sure that nobody just uh, sneaks in after the gate. It's a wise, prudent, prudent uh, thing to do. It ensures, did you make sure the gate closed behind you? Yes, I did. Okay, good. So, they wouldn't want to uh, just get access. <clears throat> uh, without regard, even though the signs are posted, I think those signs are adequate to establish uh, you no know, trespassing. I think the word could be, though, that uh, well, it was the gate was open, so they could walk through. Uh, but the signs would create the notice, I think, for trespassing, even though they're not the right sign. I have to address that. It should be um, no trespassing authorized personnel. What I'm seeing is that's not the case here. Yeah. We get a close up of these signs in case it's not visible. Uh, let's see here. Push this over so that's okay. And let's go like this. There we go. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it close enough with this lighting. Oh, that's a... Oh, there we go. I don't know if y'all can make that out. 
It's the same sign twice, uh, or one's in Spanish and one's in English. That's awfully kind. Okay. So as you can see, it, it's, it, it is claiming private property, even though uh, in many personnel's mind, their station is private property. And it's really not. It's public property, that, and they just restrict certain areas from public access. So the sign's not right. I wonder how that would work in a court of law to say, you know, there was a sign that claimed private property, but I was certain it's public property, so I walked in the gate. Uh, and it didn't say no unauthorized personnel, it just said private property. So that's, that's, a, that's an interesting thing. I didn't know about these signs like that until I got here. Let's see what the other one says. The blue one. It says increased security huh. let's see I'll carry this carry my tripod with me we'll go do that all right I'll, I'll carry this tripod sorry for for being all over the place here you can see why I have a tripod I don't I don't walk I don't I don't walk that stably why I have a walker. I should say. Oh, yeah, that's the region right there. There's a notice that says says increased security awareness. This thing is down here. Yeah. It says increased security awareness requires each driver to wait until the gate closes behind the vehicle. So that's really great. Good points for the people who have been doing that. Because if that's what they're asking people to do, that's the right thing to do. Uh, I tripped on this little ledge here. I want to be careful not to fall. That would be pretty hilarious to have to make a 911 call to the police officers uh, asking if <laughs> asking if they would come and help me off the ground. I think that would be a hoot, and I would do it even if it's hoot. I would do it because. I would need to help off the ground. Wouldn't want to hurt myself by trying to. Wouldn't want to hurt myself more by trying to get up and falling again. Woo! I almost bought it there. So I'll do my best to edit out the dead space. But the nice thing about dead spaces, there's nothing messing with the audio except me. So, hopefully the microphone is uh, doing its job. I think it is. Here we have some new folks coming down the road. It's always good. Coming down the road. On the highway. So, I was mentioning before, you know, sometimes uh, people get curious. They get curious about, well, what, what, what are you doing? What are you, why are you doing that? You know. Um, but curiosity is okay. People can stop and ask. I will answer in some kind of fashion, you know, just to be courteous. Uh, sometimes, you know, I have been out with a camera and decided not to answer, you know, because that's also uh, every citizen's constitutionally protected right. There's no obligation to answer questions. Uh, so, 
Why is this, uh, my thing seems a little bit, oh, maybe, maybe you have to get this down a little bit. There we go. That's a little more level. I don't have any fancy hookup where I'm, um, I don't have a fancy hookup where I'm, uh, where I have a gimbal or something that keeps everything level. Um, I mainly do it with this rig that I have, a tripod. I can adjust the legs to kind of get it to level and can do something with the tripod head. But generally, um, I'm uh, up to I'd love to get a gimbal one of these days, but they're, they're an added expense. You know, it's kind of like if you get a really cheap one, it's not it's not as effective as a good one. So, why well, get a cheap one and then decide later you want a good one and now you've already bought a cheap one. So, I'd rather wait until I can or should or will or whatever. There's another vehicle. Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't quite got this, uh, I hope I'm getting the cars properly. I'm doing my best to make it a smooth transition for you guys. Um, so this is Phoenix, Arizona. And as you can see, we are at the corner of, I'm going to show you a street sign there. Let's bring it up a little bit. At the corner of Charter Oak and 39th Avenue. That's one of the accesses, but the actual substation is at the corner of 39th Avenue and Cactus Road. So that's where we're filming from today. And uh, as you can see, we've had Oh, I don't know, um, a couple dozen, including some of them that uh, passed by before all the camera was on and working right. Um, we've had at least a couple dozen folks come past here. I think I managed to get some kind of shift change because there was a lot of activity. But, oh, and the time is 3.15. So... Maybe there's a 2 o'clock shift change, 2.30, 3, uh, whatever. Um, seems like a good time in the afternoon. By the way, it's a very pleasant uh, 74 degrees, which makes it comfortable in the sun. Um, happy to say. Uh, I don't particularly like either being all sweaty and uncomfortable. So this is a, a nice pleasure. <coughs> But so far, this, uh, this substation and its personnel are uh, getting an A or passing uh, not uh, unduly harassing, questioning, you know, maybe noticing, which is supposed to be, I suppose, what they do. But when they see that I'll be interested in here with the camera, there's no, oh, here comes a, looks like an officer. He's like, you know, they have those pretty distinctive profiles, um, and here comes one that looks, looks like this. Oh, it is a no, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a it's an unmarked police officer. Look at that. He's got he's got nothing on his thing. Oh, it's a canine unit. How long ago this happened? Canine unit with uh, with uh, just white markings. It's very true. And uh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, well, he does have those um, searchlights on the side, so I suppose. And he might have some mistakes, but those look like. Those look like he has. Oh, here comes an officer who's going out the inn for some reason. I guess it would be convenient. I think he has to wait now until the gate closes. And here goes the gate, so he's uh, doing his thing there. 
it's cool that they are actually uh, doing that. They might be doing it a little bit more rigorously because they know they're on camera and they don't want to be caught um, on camera and not doing protocol. So good for all. Hooray for our side. Hooray for everybody. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Um, I am. I have to say, I'm very pleased that um, the personnel here are they're making the Cactus substation of the Phoenix Police Department uh, look very good. Spend a couple more minutes out here before I call it a wrap. I'm very pleased because this is the kind of uh, result, the kind of experience we want every citizen who is filming in public to have because uh, they, there's nothing suspicious about taking photographs. Uh, here's what I've seen happen a lot. Your police officers will, uh, on the back of a conversation that, that I'm investigating suspicious activity, it's very important to understand, A, that suspicious activity is not a crime, and they have no legal basis, uh, in my opinion, to uh, detain you unless they're suspecting you of uh, having of having committed a crime, committing a crime, or not committing a crime. And that's what the... Unless those things are true. And that's the Arizona Revised Statute. Those are the three things that are listed. You have to be informed that uh, it's unlawful not to answer. And one of those three things that are And if... If one of those two things is present, then um, it's, it's okay to state your true name, is what the statute says. But then in Arizona, there's a very interesting add-on to the requirement to state a statute. Alright, let's start reading. As you can see, there we go. And this guy's wanting to come in. He was delayed because the other gate was open. Security protocol. And uh, he's going to pause, but he's supposed to. 